All right, so the crosshair seems to work uh, pretty well. I'm aware that uh, it doesn't shoot the bullets directly to, um, to the crosshair's position, but we'll fix that in a later uh, video. For now, it's just a reference of where we are looking. So now that we can destroy stuff, we will uh, implement something so we can despawn the game object we destroyed uh, and maybe respawn it after a few seconds. To do that, we're going to create something which we can use again. So we're going to create a script in the, for the game manager, which is going to be a timer. So it's a timer where we can add in uh, a new game objects we want to, uh, or not game objects, functions we want to execute after a certain amount of time. So let's start with a new script. Let's call it timer. And you're going to use this a lot, I'm sure. Okay, let's open it up. Now, we're going to use a list to hold all the uh, events um, for the timer. So let's create a new uh, using statement. Uh, system collections generic. Generic, so we can use the list. We're going to create a new private class which will hold the uh, time event. So let's call it time event. No, time event. And it has only uh, two properties for now uh, float for the time to execute. So when we need to execute the method. And we're going to use a callback method. So it's a delegate uh, from the timer. So let's create a public delegate void. Uh, uh, let's just call it callback. It's a callback function we want to execute when the timer has reached the time to execute. The time defend has the public callback uh, method. Okay. Now in the uh, awake method. We're going to make sure that um, we have a list of time defense. So let's make a private variable first for the list of time defense. Time event. Let's call them events. Maybe something to note. I usually try to keep my private variables with a lower, start to start with a lower case and publics always with the capital one, so you can e easily distinguish them. Um, for properties, I usually use this and then with a, with a capital, but for just private uh, variables, I do it like this. Okay, not really important for now. So let's uh, instantiate a new list, a uh, new list of time defense. So it won't be null. Uh, then we're going to create a new method, uh, which takes, uh, so we add something to the, to our list of events. So uh, we're going to use a the callback. Um, callback. Hmm. I'm not really sure why it's not the delicate white callback should be okay maybe it's not compiled or something let me check here sorry guys there it is not sure sometimes it happens um, so it takes a method uh, which we're going to execute and then we say in seconds uh, then we're going to create uh, a new item for the list so we say events add then we're going to add a new timed event new timed event which takes um, uh, the method and uh, time to execute will be time to time and add that in seconds Okay, now in the update function, I seem to type this wrong a lot. Update. 
we first check if we have any events. So if events count equals uh, zero, we just return from the method. Um, otherwise, we're gonna loop through the events, check if it's uh, if it needs to be executed. Um, so just make for loop for it. For uh, the max is of course events count. If I type it correctly, then events count. There we go. Then we take the time defend, time defend from the array. By the way, we're looping. We're, we're using a for for loop, so we can remove um, the event from the list when we're iterating over it. If we would iterate over the list, we cannot make any changes uh, to it. Um, so uh, let's uh, check the time defend, uh, the time for it timed event but time to execute should be less or equal to time dot time and if that's the case we want to execute the callback method so then we just say time event uh, method and it's gonna execute the method then we're gonna remove the event timed event okay now um, quick look let's see this won't work. Why this won't work? So just open up the game manager, and we're gonna add a uh, property for the. Uh, I'm sorry. We're gonna add it to the uh, instance game object. So we say in instance game object add component uh, timer. And of course we're gonna make a property for it. So private timer, public timer. We get m timer uh, plus null. Get it the uh, component. Game object. Get the component. Timer. Return timer. Okay. So now we have access to the timer from the uh, from the game manager. Now let's head back to Unity. Create a new uh, script. We're going to use it. Um, to respawn, so first we're going to use uh, a respawner script, but eventually we will add some functionality for pooling. Uh, for now, we just call it going to call it the respawner. And basically, this only um, will only add um, something to the to the time defense to respawn the item. So Let's uh, create an add function. Um, we're going to add a, a, a game object first, again in seconds. And then we go, uh, first we set the game object. Uh, um, hmm. We should respawn or maybe despawn. Uh, then we say go uh, set active false. So the game object will be removed or made inactive on the scene. And then we're going to say game manager instance timer. We're going to say add. Um, and then we're going to uh, create delegate method. So that's the uh, notation is like uh, this. So this is the, the function. And then we say in seconds. So let's say uh, in seconds. There we go. Now, everything between the brackets is the method which we are executing. So now we're just going to say go set active true. So this is very easy uh, to do. You could also do it like this. Um, um, let's make a void activate uh, game object. I'm just going to. And we could say instead of this, we could say. It go so that's that's the same uh, same way to do it but it's just gonna make a, a delegate like this for now uh, let's head over to the um, I'm not really sure which kind of script we use to 
Ah, uh, yeah, of course, the health script. So open up the health script. And when we die, we say game manager. Or we should add the uh, respawner to the game manager as well. So let's do it also. Game object add component uh, respawn. Private uh, respawn. Respawn. Public respawn. Respawn. Uh, get um, if m respawner equals no get uh, game object get component respawn return the respawn uh, not sure why it says it should work um, so now back to in the in the health we go we could say game manager instance and that we're not going to use a timer what we're going to use the respawner uh, and we said uh, despawn of and then we say uh, game object and let's just make it uh, a, a, a public variable or I mean serialized value here so that's I uh, say in seconds In seconds. Okay. Um, then we uh, there we go. Let's respawn it in five. Respawn it in, in five seconds. So at uh, first, there it go. Now it's gone. Now we should wait for five seconds, and there it's back again. So we can use this all over, over and over. Oh wait, it's not getting any new help, I think. No, it's not getting any new help. So what happens here is when the cube uh, dies, uh, it should be in the destructible. Let's first close some stuff. There we go. Uh, when we die, the damage is, uh, not reset so I'm respawning it but it's not resetting the damage so um, let's go back to the respawner uh, in fact let's go back to the health and simply say void uh, on enable reset Shooting now. There we go. Wait five seconds. And now it's back. Hmm. It didn't reset. Making it. No, it's not resetting. I'm probably um, should it be on enable. I'm not really sure. I'm sorry for for trial and error. Yeah, that's it. Now it resets. Um, so, uh, that's it for now, and I'll uh, see you again.